Good evening, one and all. I am Video Game Girl 64, and right now I'm gonna be showing you how to make another script, and this will just be a script of a sign. So you know, like those trainer tip signs, or this is the gym. Well, now you're gonna learn how to make signs, and really, I think it's easier than making a person talking. So maybe I should have made this one first. I don't know, but let's get into this. So, gotta start with opening our ROM. getting rid of all that and like I said last time we're gonna start with this still have no clue what this means carrying on or at start that's how I like to start my scripts now we're gonna lock for the same reasons we learned last time now for a person I would usually put face player you can put face player for a sign if you want, but there's really no point because you can't tell whether the sign's looking at you or not. Because it's not a person, it doesn't turn around. Whatever, so you can put face player if you want, but it's absolutely useless. Message box at sign. I don't know, I can't think of a creative name. Sign, please. Uh, d d d d I is a sign. That'll be our dialogue that we're gonna work with. Now we're gonna put call std like we did last time after the um little message there. msg underscore. Now last time we put normal, but this time we're gonna put sign because this is what a sign is written. Like, this is what a sign... This is what we're reading off the sign. God damn it, I can't speak. Yes, this is what we're reading off of the sign in the game. Whereas before, it was what someone was speaking to us. Release. And end. Yes, I know. Even more simpler than making a person talk to you. We're still not done. Org at sign please go down equal sign i is oh shit my bad i is a sign period yeah so uh our script right here we're gonna do the same thing as last time we're going to compile and we're gonna get this fancy combination of numbers and letters so we're gonna slide on over to advanced map. So I already have it open beforehand. Uh can't line it up. We're going to once again, Pewter City. We're gonna go to the events. We see the little girl I made last time. And we're going to well before I do that, we're gonna go to the map. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna add a sign. And I wanna put it right there. Okay? The sign right there. You have to go to the movement permissions and put a one there so you can't walk on top of it. This was all stated in my other scripting video about the maps and whatever. I'm not going to go over that again. Go into the events. We are going to um, add one signpost, change events, and you see how we have a signpost script up here. We're just going to move that on top of the sign. And like we did with the dynamic offset last time, we're going to take this 724C4D. 724C4D. You just literally plug it into the script offset. And now we're going to want to save. And congratulations, you have created a sign in your game. Now I will be right back so we can test this. Alrighty, so uh, we are now in the game, so let's go check if this was successful or not. So that's our sign. We go up to it. I is a sign. Yep, so easier than making a person script. And I guess that's it. I can't really think of anything else to do. So this has been Video Game Girl 64. Uh, enjoy making signs!